in the men's quarterfinal of the sprint. Two French riders, Florian Rousseau, Mikel Bourgain, both competing against one another. I mean, France have got something like four riders all through to the quarterfinals here, Russell. We've got Rousseau, Bourgain, Ghana, and uh, and Tournant all through to the quarterfinal. That's some strength in depth in that sprint squad in France. Definitely big time. Big, I mean, obviously they've got a lot of strength, but it's so difficult when you know all year, all year long you're training with these guys. You know, you're training your teammates, and all of a sudden you come to the World Championships and you're hoping to meet other oppositions, and you're meeting some of the guys you train with. They must have one of the most ambitious track programs of any nation, France. They never seem to. They never seem to stop travelling. These guys. A bit of travelling going on there. A bit of going up and down. Laura Russo is trying to come over the top. He wants to lead it out. Now he's going to back off, he's just backed off a little bit, comes down, backs it off, rides the red line. It's going to be a straight drag race, I don't think he's got the power to get over Russo. So it's Russo at the line. Russo then takes the second heat, 10.915, average speed 65.96 kilometers an hour. Next to go, another Frenchman, Laurent Gann of France versus the heavy boy of Australia, Darren Hill. So we go back to slow motion here. Russo just coming around the bend, little look under the arm to say, yeah, I've got this one, it's in the bag. Must be really difficult for the coach when you've got four four world-class sprinters in your squad. You must divide the loyalties as to who you're going to give the best advice to, or are they? Do they all have separate coaches? In fact, I think. I'm, I... Next to go, two Frenchmen, Florian Rousseau and Mikael Bourgain. Russo has drawn the inside, so he has to lead out. Laurent Gann on the outside. Both of them an absolute picture of concentration. Settling themselves down and glances across enough to say, you're ready because I'm going to beat you. No, you can't say that to your friend, surely. Well, he said it mentally. So Florian Russo on the front. There he is, blonde hair, blue eyes, with the blue glare. Both both riders obviously on uh, team bikes. Bougignon there in the picture. Third in the National Kieran Championships. And this year he actually won the sprint in uh, Cali in the World Cup. He's got it all to do here. The so Florian Risto set in second wheel. He's leaving just one bite length. He's still got over a lap and a half to go. The big favourite of French cycling is sitting in the second wheel. Well, he's laying off him a little bit, coming at him now, winding that gear up over the top. What a turn of speed that in that bend. Just sits up and coasts his way across the line and does an 11 dead. So Florian Russo there it always makes it look so, so easy. A bit dejected there, do you think, Michael? With the turn of speed like that, he's so arrogant about it as well, Russo, just so arrogant. Comes round, he knows he's beaten him, and just waves his fist in the air <laughs> with delight. So in the slow-mo there. A little look at the camera there, is, is this to say, do I give up now? Oh, there's a lovely crown there. Oh, 
I've lost my running order here. I'm going off this.